Oh, thank you for the love you, TR. Appreciate that. That's so generous. By the way, guys, where are you tuning in from tonight? Go ahead and drop your location in the chat. I would love to know where you guys are from. Oh, here it is, guys. You got the Fairway Market. Now, I know I told you guys this before, but Fairway was the first market I ever experienced in New York City. By the way, the very first time I had ever gone into a grocery store was at Fairway Market here in the Big Apple. Um, hello from Kentucky, San Marino. Uh, we've got Detroit, East Side, Michigan, Perth, Australia. Oh, very cool. I actually lived in Perth for about three months when I was younger. That was a fantastic time. Um, Ohio, Denmark, Cape Town. Cape Town. I've been to Cape Town as well. I lived there for about two months. Cape Town was very cool. Uh, personally, I thought Durban was incredible. I really love Durban, South Africa. We got Hungary, Greece, Yonkers, Philippines. Lord, touch and heal this person. Always feel sad, man. Breaks my heart. All right, guys, we're going to pop inside because somebody said go inside of a store. So I'm going to do it just because you guys want me to. Let's go inside a fairway. You can see what a kind of typical grocery store looks like here in Manhattan. Go ahead and check this out. We, we can only be in here for like a couple seconds or we'll lose reception. But I just want to show you guys what we're dealing with. You can see Coke is about $2.50. Monster, $2.79. All right, we can't really go any further than this because we will lose reception. But just want to show you guys kind of what you're working with here in New York City. Uh, Mooney Man, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate that. Somebody said the Takis. I know. They are incredible. Wow, have you had the guacamole ones, though? I'm curious. Have you tried the guacamoles? All right, let's go ahead. We're going to carry on. We're going to head downtown back out into the city and by the way if you stand here you can actually see all the way up to the salesforce tower right up there and you've also got the bank of america tower just behind it how cool is that galaxy grace thanks for the follow i do appreciate that so we said they aren't available in australia oh i'm so sorry to hear that check this out guys you got olympia's finest deli the Olympia Finest Deli. It's a little deli over across 6th Avenue. You can see right up here at 25th. Look at these luxury high rises. Look very, very nice. That building definitely has a roof deck at the very top with views of the entire city. Not something to complain about. By the way, if you guys are enjoying yourself and you do want to join us every day on the live, small recommendation is just to click the follow button in the upper left-hand corner because we do go live every day. And if you click that follow button, you should get notified each time that we go live and you can join us every single day. By the way, right over here, you've got Two Brothers Pizza. They've got um, like $1.50 slices. And for the price, it's actually pretty decent pizza. For the price. So what we're going to do is we're going to head good old what, eastbound over here. We're going to go over towards Fifth Avenue and Madison Square Park, where we will see Italy, Flatiron Building, and then we're going to take Fifth Ave down into Greenwich Village through Washington Square Park and Madison Square Park. But only if you guys want to. So you got to let me know in the chat, yes or no. Should we go down into Greenwich Village? Yes or no in the chat. Vivi says yes. Nicole says yes. Elf says yes. Twinkle says yes. Craig says yes. Dolly says no. Dolly, come on, Dolly. Why? <laughs> um, Macy says, mate, what are we doing? We are headed over towards Fifth Avenue. From Fifth Avenue, we're going to head downtown. We're going to touch base right here at Madison Square Park. As we head downtown, we will walk past the 
flat iron building. We will see um, <clears throat> Washington Square Park, and through there, we're going to go into Greenwich Village. And we might, if we get lucky, if we're lucky tonight, we might just stumble upon Soho. But you've got to let me know if that would be something you'd want to do. That's all that matters is that you guys want to do it. So we were headed eastbound right now. Uh, Americans seem to like pizza a lot, Steph. That is very correct. Americans love pizza, especially New Yorkers. They thrive with a nice no-flop slice of pizza with a good undercarriage sitting in their hand. It's got to have a crunch. You've got to have a crunch to the slice. If it's floppy, you don't want it. You want it to be nice and crispy. By the way, we're just headed over here towards the center of Midtown, kind of Washington, or excuse me, Madison Square Park area in the Flatiron District. And in this venue, kind of a venue, kind of a neighborhood, you've got some cool stuff to look at. So we're going to pop in here for just a second. And we're going to carry on our adventure. By the way, I do want to say, I do want to say one thing. Um, for the first time, I had proper Detroit style pizza. And I will say it was pretty fantastic. I'm not like, I don't like the heaviness and the thickness. I think it's too much for me, but the flavor was fantastic. It was at Ace's Pizza in Rockefeller Center. Uh, I'm not going to say it's authentic Detroit. Like, I know. We're not in Detroit. We're in New York. But I will say the slice was very good. And I would recommend it to anybody. They were just very, very overpriced. By the way, welcome to the live. Welcome to New York City. And welcome to Madison Square Park, guys. Wow, look at this. They're putting up, like, these big flower trees. So we're going to go check that out. Yeah, it was Detroit-style pizza. I am not, like, I don't really love square, thick slices. I'm more of a uh, crispy, thin, classic slice with pepperoni on it. That's kind of my style. Uh, but the Detroit slice that I had was pretty, pretty delicious. All right, we're going to wait until people pass by. There we go. So right now you're in the Flatiron District. Right below us is the Flatiron Building. It has been under scaffolding all the way since I moved back to the city about seven months ago. It has been under scaffolding ever since. There was a sale that happened, about $130 million. Somebody bought that building right over there. Uh, somebody says, is this the rich area of New York City? No, this is kind of like the medium area of New York City where it's expensive. But when you think about the scale of Manhattan, when you think rich, rich, you're thinking Hudson Yards, you're thinking Billionaire's Row, Tribeca, uh, a lot of places in Chelsea along the High Line. Those are like rich, rich. Now, don't get me wrong. When we think uh, these are st can still be rich, depending on where you are, depending on the building, like top of that building. Absolutely. Top of that building. Absolutely. You're going to be paying millions of dollars for a condo. All right, so Bavesh is gone because that's very creepy to say. Um, <laughs> that was really spooky. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head into Washington, little bit of Madison Square Park right over here. And I want to see these little, it looks like, uh, oh, what do you call those? A ballerina's Ballower, wear, tutus or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it looks like on a pole. By the way, Madison Square Park is one of the most iconic parks in the city. Oh, they're doing more over here. What are they getting ready for? Tutu, yeah. Uh, Yanni, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate that. Somebody said it's flowers? That does not look... <laughs> that doesn't look... Okay, it could. It could look like a flower, I guess. I'm not going to argue with you, but uh, I'm just kind of intrigued right now. A little bit intrigued. Oh, this is for Valentine's Day. All right. All right. Solid, solid, solid. By the way, 
we're going to head down through the park. But, and I do want to note that Madison Square Park is one of the most iconic parks in the city, but they're most famously known for having a lot of dogs. And that's because the park specifically has two different dog parks, one for big dogs right over here. Aw, hey, buddy. And they've also got one for little dogs right over there which I'll show you guys in just a second, but a lot of people right after work will come here with their dog. Now, I want to remember, was it maybe Monday afternoon we came down here in the rain, and you guys remember there wasn't a soul in sight? It was like the park was completely empty. This is the difference between a rainy day and a non-rainy day. It's like it's packed and overloaded with people. Check this out. Oh, it's a Shiba. That's so cute. So this is the small dog park right over here. And that is the big dog park, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down in through Fifth Avenue. And you've got Italy here to our right. Check that out over there. Which is... I, and I know I told you guys this before, but I'm going to tell you again. It is like an authentic Italian uh, experience store. It's much more than a grocery store. It's all things that are authentic Italian, high quality. However, when you go inside, you can literally get cocktails and shop around, drink while you <laughs> drink while you shop for groceries, which is so cool. And number two, they've got all these authentic Italian restaurants and Italian wine bars. It is such a cool place to be, and if you're coming to the city, I do recommend, highly recommend, coming to Italy. But there's a there's a key to this, something really important to keep note of. I would not recommend going to the World Trade Center one unless that's the only one you can get to, because I think that one is just, it doesn't compare quite to the Madison Square Park one, which is right over here.